we will finally see how to code our service layer controller and bind the data to the service layer page we have just designed. We need to set the connectivity so that we can call the service layer in our HANA server. So just click here, connectivity, destinations, and set a new destination. You can give a name for this connectivity endpoint, HANA B1, for example. The description will be HANA B1, and the URL you need to use here is the endpoint for the service layer in your HANA server. So it will be the HTTPS, so in this case we're gonna give uh, my HANA server IP. In your case you just replace this by your own HANA server IP. The port will be the same, B1S V1. And that should be fine. We just need to add a new property here. New property will be uh, the trust all property to true so that we can use the HTTPS here without the certificates. We need uh, to add a web ID usage as well. And this will be UI5 execute and a new property that will be the web ID enabled to true. Just hit save. And now what you need to do is to go to your uh, application in the subweb IDE and open the new app JSON file. Just add this piece of code here. This will route our application to the correct IP or the correct endpoint when we are running it through our application. So just set the path, the target, destination HANA V1, which is the, the, the name of the destination we've set, and the description HANA V1. So this should be fine. Just save it and then um, you can now keep working with the service layer controller and, and design uh, the call to the service layer. First, for the service layer controller, we want first to log in into the service layer. We want it to go back when the navigation button is pressed. And we also want uh, to load the data into the table when the load button is pressed. Uh, so let's go and define first the on init function. Here it is from the template. We'll just uncomment the, the function and we will put here some variables to log in into the service layer. So user, it's the manager, the password will be one, two, three, four. And we want to give the company name, which be SBO demo US. Then we need to define the JSON, which will hold all this information. So let's define the J data, which will hold the JSON. We have to use the string find here. And what we want to send is the object which will have username, password, pass, and the company DB comp. Cool. Now we need to define a variable to specify the URL login for the service layer. So it will be service layer login URL and this is already set up in our destinations resources as you have already seen gonna be one and we will call the login URL now we will call the Ajax and call the RESTful API this service layer login URL credentials we also want to 
send the data in the body so j data we want also to say that the type of this call is a post and the data type is a json Now we want to define the on press go back as we have defined in the view for the action on the button. So we let's define this fun the function for the on press go back at back to avoid the ES linked warning. We already know that we have to define here that our app variable is in a global context. And now we want to define the action for the button that will load data into the table, calling the service layer. Now we want to do the on press load service layer to be a function. So let's use here the variable service layer items URL. Which will be almost the same of the login, but instead of login, we will call the items, and then we will use the this call, copy and paste, and adapt. So we will call this Ajax call here. The URL will be the service. C layer items URL uh, and we will do a get instead of a post that is no data in the body and in the case of success we want to run the on complete call function in case of error we to run on error call function so here we go let's now define the own success or the own complete call the own complete call function will bind the data to the table sorry we will create a variable o table so let's just use this app ui get core we need to identify here uh, the table we want to to bind the data to so let's get by the id and here we will set it as id product list service layer remember this is the name of this is the id we gave to the table at the moment we defined it in the view page in the view JS so uh, here we go then we need to get the column items as well so let's uh, say this is the SL call items and then we will do the get core by ID and then instead of getting the table we will be getting the SL call items the data coming and binding to the table will be a JSON so all model item new SAP UI model JSON now first of all we need to set the data to this uh, model so all model item dot set data we will get the result from the Ajax here we have to use result and then we use the result to bind the data to set the data to the model then we need to 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 set the model item to the table so table set 
model and finally we will bind the data itself to the cells we have created using this variable let's copy and paste to define the error call so in case of error on error we will use this function and we will get the all the error information available Let's get rid of these variables and contents here. We will use the SAP require the SAP and message box. And then we will show the error. title for the error will be error and then we should be fine here with this code let's save it let's now open the index page and and add here the service layer page so the main page is already here what we just need to do is to copy and paste this code and to say that we want the service layer page this will be again the ID service layer page view name will be UI view service layer and then we need to add page here to the app will be the service layer page okay now we can test our page and then we see it's calling the service layer page we have just designed let's then give the names or the texts for the labels we have created for the internationalization for the the title of the page for the button and all uh, the rest of the page so we can go back here open the properties of the internationalization and then we will set um, the title service layer uh, this will be get list of oops get list of products using service layer then we will have the the header for the table so table 
list of products to be list of products uh, for the button load remember we created this as well button load will be load uh, for the column header code we have defined as well column header code to be code the table column header name will be name and for the quantity to be quantity and for the error error okay let's save and test it once again okay so now we have labels for uh, all the headers button list of products for the table and all the columns here uh, with the tables uh, it will bring us uh, all the information from the service layer if we hit the load button and and then we can use the growing feature here to load more data with a threshold of five uh, now we want to see this page translated into Spanish uh, we just need to copy the properties file for the internationalization and paste it here just giving it name with yes for the Spanish and then we open it and say instead of B1 app demo based on SAP UI5 basado in SAP UI5 service layer will be the same instead of get list of products using the service layer it will be obtener la lista de productos usando la service layer uh, for the list of products it will be lista de productos instead of load we will use cargar instead of code we, we use código instead of name description instead of quantity cantidad y instead of error bueno well error is the same let's save it let's change our language here to Spanish and then run the test again so here we go and we can see it's changed it already to the Spanish language okay hope you have enjoyed thank you